of um, Alvi Chain and someone that I appreciate a lot. And I mean, without further ado, I would like to introduce you to Jimango, the CEO of uh, Quark. Now, you know, we, we need that photo like a uh, president, you know, <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> we have read the banner. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I will let here Jimango go to, uh, 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 to put us and discover more about Quark. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for now. Uh, yeah, so as probably many of you know, I'm Jim Mungo and I'm uh, the CEO of Quark uh, Token on Alpha Chain. And we launched uh, last um, December, so we're going up to one year anniversary. Um, so uh, since we launched the token, we developed a lot. We have gone from become from starting as a member token to become a full spec utility token and project with the NFT marketplace. We have a bot for our chain, currently implementing multi-chain functions at the moment. Uh, also introducing more uh, chains to the marketplace, uh, some new features, uh, or specifically one more feature to the marketplace that we will um, present at the end of this presentation uh, that we are very excited about. And uh, we um, yeah, we are also going to uh, launch a launch pad in December and, um, and uh, then launch our uh, Ethereum token uh, at the end of December, uh, uh, most probably. So yeah, uh, we can go to the next slide. So yeah, um, yeah, uh, the images here are from some of the artists involved. Um, the one on the top right is from Björn Sosta, a very established uh, artist in, in Oslo, Norway, a friend of mine, uh, who's been a successful artist for um, a few decades uh, or more. He has, uh, yeah, he has his own, own uh, Lito press and everything uh, to, to make his own art, which kind of gives him more freedom uh, in that matter. Um, we have a lot of kind of art technical things that I will not go into now. Um, yeah, if people have questions, um, it's, uh, you can join the, um, the Telegram and ask questions regarding to that. The yeah, other uh, uh, art here is from a piece of a soul deck from another artist, Dark Hole. And, um, and uh, they are both uh, collaborating with the uh, Quark project and um, making their art available. Um, we also have a physical art gallery that we will use. Uh, so far, we have put up a uh, physical art frame, a uh, digital NFT frame, uh, to showcase the NFTs when we are having other exhibitions. Um, yeah, I think we can go to the next one. And uh, I will not read up all, everything here. Um, I will make the presentation also available later on. Um, yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, we are rooted in the desire for simplicity and transparency, which is uh, why our token operates on a decentralized blockchain. Um, I don't think I need to explain the, the, the yeah, all the aspects of that. Uh, um, yeah, currently we have our token is a non-tax token, so you can trade as much as you like. On Ethereum chain, we will introduce uh, some tax and uh, and. Um, and probably also do the same on, on uh, relaunch the token on other chain also. Um, and we will build the bridge uh, also leading up to, to that. I think we can go to the next one. So yeah, we have uh, features, we have uh, Quark token utilities, which is kind of in integrated with the marketplace um, that we have. We have exclusive NFT collections that we have very briefly started with and, and full kind of the main journey of the project is, is, the, is the NFT collections and uh, and kind of development with the bot and um, and the marketplace and everything around is kind of extended uh, around uh, that, uh, that kind of vision we have. Uh, we are collaborating with esteemed artists and, and we really are. We, we have a very established artists that have been artists for for decades and uh, they they have not considered NFTs before, but they are now. Uh, interested in doing that. So, 
Um, yeah, and with our physical art gallery, we kind of have an um, have a dream to compete with um, with um, other galleries on a kind of more technological and, and future oriented uh, way of selling art. Uh, we have limited editions for NFTs, um, so we have on the marketplace we have an exclusive section where we have the limit kind of the um, exclusive NFTs and. Um, um, this section is kind of uh, primary for the art that is kind of higher class. It's not just not any art we put there, and and um, it it will be artists with, who already have a name and a reputation for themselves that are will be part of that collection. Um, yeah, I think we can go to the next one. I'm just going very quickly through everything, uh, basically because everything is available uh, for everyone uh, on our white paper on our website. And, um, and uh, I'm kind of going to represent the new feature of the marketplace that I will do on the end. Um, yeah, uh, I think on the earlier one there was also something about um, you can buy the part token on Alvechain and use a burn function that is on the marketplace. It will give you free trading and there will be no fees for, for trading NFTs, uh, which we think is quite nice. Uh, and. Um, Quite uh, generous, I would say, was to to give that feature. Uh, but uh, in the act of burning those tokens, then we will also um, gain value to the core token over time. Uh, so currently, it's uh, quite expensive to burn uh, to get that free free uh, free uh, free uh, fee. But um, we can change that uh, according to the yeah, development of the project. Um, yeah, we, we started off earlier this year with the AMAs and kind of getting our word out there and, and, uh, and, and such. Um, we will pick that up again now as, as kind of the marketing is getting more, more kind of crucial and, uh, and important with our new features. Uh, yeah, and there's something with Alvechain with a very low uh, fee that is quite fortunate to, 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 to the NFT structure that we will implement. It's actually implemented already, uh, we'll explain later. Uh, transparency and communication, uh, we're trying to update the community all the time and um, showing transparency of course. So, um, personally I'm very into the idea of um, decentralization and keeping kind of an open uh, blockchain. So. Uh, I have this idea that uh, kind of the society is going more and more in this direction. As, low, as more globalized we become, the more important uh, blockchain technology will, will, will uh, prove itself. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so here comes the part with the zero trading fee. Currently, you have, we have a 2% trading fee on. Uh, Trading with Al and then also Ethereum uh, actually, and you can also trade using Quark uh, with one percentage uh, trading fee. Yeah, we can go to the next one. I think. Yeah, so we are onboarding Ethereum chain, and like all our features, we have like uh, the marketplace itself. It's also in constant development, we will soon have the launch pad and uh, the, the, the buy bot is full functioning, there's some tweaks we need to do there uh, and all these utilities will, will serve multiple blockchains. Uh, the marketplace, the launch pad will be Ethereum, our chain, uh, Binance and Polygon. That's the plan now, Polygon will probably be implemented in January. Uh, and the Firebot will, we're kind of working on finding ways to implement more chains and, and including chains that are new uh, with kind of limited access to other Firebots. So we're working on some simplification there in the, in the implementation. I think that is the tweaks we're doing. So yeah, I think we can go to the next one. Dynamic NFTs, that's kind of the, kind of a hard part of the, initial um, 
roadmap, the kind of the main um, utility we came up with after changing from um, from a Mimi token to a utility token, and it came from the idea I've been having for a few years with my connections with artists and, and, and uh, kind of that uh, access to create NFTs that are um, by artists for artists and with features that make you want to showcase them in your home in a digital frame and not only for trading, of course also trading, but um, we will uh, make exclusive NFTs that will be um, something you want to have in your home. With dynamic effects, we will have layers in the image to change according to certain... Um, um, yeah, so some uh, layer 2 uh, functions, like uh, we can connect them to, to weather changes, to time, and we believe this will be very good for, uh, for the presentation of certain of the NFTs. Um, this is for further into the future, we're not currently focused on that, but that will be a somewhat end goal on, on kind of completing the NFT uh, idea and, uh, and implementing the artists that we are working with. We have um, a very skilled photo photographer who specializes in photographing uh, uh, art painting. He's uh, working for us pro bono because he likes our project so much. And um, yeah, so he's specializing in, in taking the photographs and, and making sure it has the proper um, presentation. And uh, through him we also have access to very special paper and printing machines so we can print uh, NFTs uh, with uh, the highest um, quality. And uh, because of the paper quality and the machines we use, we are allowed to give a, um, a diploma that explains the quality of the, of the print. So it's just not any print, it's like a high class um, uh, art print. We are not focusing on AI uh, because we want to use the, the, the art as it is, uh, as kind of the masterpiece that's, uh, that they are. So we are not implementing AI directly um, and we want to maintain kind of the, the, the soul of the art into these dynamic effects. So we, we can go further. Yeah, I see there's something in, in VR here also. We have an idea of um, in our gallery to have events where people can also draw and create art in, in virtual reality. Um, so they can actually also attend the art creation digitally or physically in the gallery. So these are also some, uh, some plans we have for the future. Yeah, we have a locker, a token locker and a LP locker on Alvi chain. Uh, this um, is going to be implemented into the, um, the launchpad and um, yeah, function with uh, the same mechanisms um, like um, uh, yeah, what does it say? Um, yeah, it says there's some somewhere. It's like yeah, so it will be like a locker and, 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 and function for for also the project that launched. They can then you can utilize this. We also are, are uh, possessing a, a bot for launching projects. They can launch projects on uh, Alpha Chain, Binance, and Ethereum from inside Telegram. Um, it's currently um, deactivated because we're waiting for the, the main locker and launch pad to be finished before we relaunch that. Yeah, I'll go to the next one. Yeah, we have a vault. The first NFT collection we we. Um, we officially launched has a voting function. It will also be better implemented into the website, uh, where the holders of the, these NFTs can attend uh, on-chain voting uh, for uh, making maybe not always decisions, but at least uh, contribute with the views and opinion about how to 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 make uh, decisions and uh, grow the project further. Uh, this voting function can also be implemented in, in, uh, in other use cases, of course. And we want to have a, all of the NFT connections will have like a bit uh, different kind of utility and all together there will be like a combined uh, reason to, to, to gather some from all the connections also. Yeah, the Bybot, I guess I explained, is basically a Bybot with the multi-chain multi function. 
it has um, it has uh, competition features, and we are implementing also some some features that uh, I think people forgot to implement in their Bible. So uh, we are very excited to to also um, uh, yeah launch those. So we have a developer working on that. Um, more or less full time, and he's contributing a whole lot and, and doing a very nice job and, and feedback on the whole process. So we have a very good uh, process here in, 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 in this development. Yeah. Yeah. We can go next. Yeah. This is some of the art from 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 the Dao Kool artist uh, from his Sodep collection. Usually he paints landscapes, but he also made this uh, Sodep collection. And, um, and uh, a little bit about his history, he's also exhibited on the Art Biennale in, uh, in Bangkok. So he's like, uh, no sorry, not in, uh, in, uh, uh, in China, and I think it's yeah, Hong Kong, I guess it is. Uh, he's been there, we, we like to say he's been there twice, he's been there one time physically and he was accepted the second time, but because of Corona it was not so easy to to finalize that. So, so he's, uh, he's also kind of establishing a, a, mar a market in, in China already. Yeah. Yeah. The founder, me, uh, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do this one. Yeah, picture worth a thousand words. Um, yeah, picture says more than a thousand words. It, it, uh, it, uh, Generate feelings and uh, and brings up things from from our subconsciousness. So usually, um, and there's always like a discussion now with AI and, and physical art, like the difference in, uh, if they intervene or if AI is art or not. And I think that's a discussion there where there's no final answer to because art is kind of how the people viewing it consider it. So. Depends on the viewers, I guess. But it's a heated discussion in the art society. Yeah, art history, kind of reaching the we can go to the next one. Uh, yeah, it's kind of phase one planning execution. Um, yeah, basically utilizing the connections I have with the artists and um, planning for it. Uh, originally, we planned just to have the NFTs in the marketplace. Along the way, we also decided to, to build the Bible for our chain and, and uh, now also the launch pad. Yeah, we can go to the next one. Launch a token and NFTs with strong community. So, we have a lot of trust in the community. We have a strong, um, strong project with a nice market cap and uh, equity pool, which you will see on the next one. The art here is. Um, yeah, the soda the bow from Dark the, um, the the people here is is from uh, one of our artists called Svein Fosse, and uh, especially this uh, portrait is of a common friend of ours uh, who is dead now, but his name was uh, Talia Brufos, uh, also called Pushwagner, and he's uh, he did a very phenomenal uh, process of with his art internationally here and. Uh, and I knew him personally in the 90s. I actually made some of his art. <laughs> I drew some of his pieces, his, um, his sketches, and helped him a bit uh, at that point. And uh, yeah, and the other art, some of the other art here is Fossa. Uh, I'm sorry, we are uh, Sosta. Yeah, we can go to the next one. Yeah, so this, uh, yeah, here's kind of part of the marketplace. Uh, Kind of how it looks like a traditional showcase of NFTs, and uh, yeah, coming soon. Uh, I guess the storm is coming, but uh, yeah, it's, it's um, one of the paintings of this dog hood, and uh, it's kind of representing the um, all the development we see ahead of ourselves with NFTs. And secure code where you can scan and get into our main website, and uh, from there also connect to the social social links. And yeah, I think that's the, no. There's one more, one more slide. No, a few. Okay, so this is. Um, I will go to the side a little bit. 
So yeah, the artery is from Björn Sosta. It's um, I believe that's an uh, oil painting, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then there's the yeah, token inscriptions with kind of yeah. The current liquidity pool is a bit more. I, last I checked this morning, it was 70 something. The market cap was about 150 or 170, I don't remember. And then there has been, I, I guess you could call it community based burn. Uh, some, some people have contributed with, with burning, uh, burning tokens for us. We are not burning any tokens ourselves. It's, it's basically a support from the community and people that believe in us. Yeah, so, so we have the slogan by artists, for artists, and so much more. Uh, the so much more is kind of become because we have all the other features now with the Bybot and uh, and Rongspad uh, coming up. So I, yeah, there, now there is one more slogan. Oh, sorry. Yeah, here is the socials. Then let's see the next one. Yeah, this is the final one. So this is also from Jörn Sosta. Uh, that we are collaborating with, and uh, the, the, the other ones are the, the banner that we have here um, on this event. So I think uh, if we can play the video, yeah. the video is a presentation from the from the marketplace dev explaining uh, the the new feature that we are very satisfied with. It's kind of an add-on function. Um, so with uh, OpenSea and other traditional marketplaces, you have a marketplace contract that uh, allows you to upload an image or, or a video and, and, uh, and you can put royalties for, for the creator to, to gain a uh, kind of tax. So what we are doing, we are doing something different because we have a lot of functions with tokenomics that we want to put into the, to the NFT collections. And we saw that for doing this, we will need to upgrade the main contract all the time, and and it's not really good for um, for, for the long long term to to have to upload the contract. So, I mean, on uh, all which is possible because of the low fee, but when we uh, implement Ethereum and other chains, we can't really update the contract all the time. So, what our developer came up with is to have this uh, add-on function. So there's a function in the main contract that checks for and um, uh, uh, to check if there's an add-on connected to the NFT collection. So if you cr create an NFT collection in the contract, you create custom if you want to, then you can add the um, uh, extra contract that is add-on with the function that bypasses the the main function of the standard uh, marketplace contract. So I think we should just play and then we'll explain that. Hello everybody and welcome to this quick uh, video demonstration where we are going to go through the new marketplace functionalities which will be called the marketplace add-ons. For those of you who haven't read already, marketplace add-ons is a functionality that is uh, one of the the first things ever seen uh, in the NFT marketplace kind of industry. So it basically allows the NFT uh, collection owners, artists and developers to come up with new and interesting methods of uh, handling the payment without uh, us having to redeploy our whole infrastructure. So previously, when uh, you wanted to, for example, the, basically the only thing that you were able to do was uh, to, to have a royalties. So the royalties would be able to be sent to an address or a contract, and that was basically all you could do. Now what, uh, what Quark here uh, brings, brings to the scene is a marketplace ad, which is basically a standalone contract which is deployed alongside the collection, which can be registered as of link or tied to our marketplace contract. And basically it allows user to implement custom logic on buying and selling on NFTs. So for example, to quickly go over the contract here, uh, we have a few, a few aspects which need to be defined. First of all is this Quark token variable here. 
which obviously needs to be uh, <coughs> implemented in the constructor. We have this event, which uh, is not necessary, but we, it will be provided in this dummy marketplace event variant. The first uh, an internal function, which uh, you can skip it, we just put it for convenience. The most two important functions is process item LP and process item quark. Basically, these two functions are called whether an, an NFT is, is sold. Whether it is through a bit or through a normal sale, these functions, if the, the collection has, has a contract, sorry, an add-on tied to it, then these two functions are, are called. And the normal marketplace logic is, uh, is skipped. For example, if you, you put an item for sale and I want to buy it, but uh, your collection implements some, some mechanism. For example, uh, the price of the item, the resale, for example, maybe 10% gets burned, 10% goes to some treasury of yours, and 10% gets split to your folder. For example, uh, you create this add-on contract, which I'm going to show here, and then basically we, the Quark team, we link it to the marketplace. So then the marketplace, when me, the user, the, the buyer, buys the item, the marketplace detects that uh, it has an item registered, and instead of following the normal logic, it follows the, the process item alpha or process item Quark, depending on whether the same amazing is made using Quark or Alvi. So this demo function that we set up here as an example, uh, for example, let's work with Alvi. First of all, we make a check that the, the uh, provide the sent amount is the, the item's price. And then for, uh, for the demo, we just split this amount in half, send uh, half of it to zero, to address zero, which is the dead address. Once again, you do not need to do this. This is just a, a, a sample implementation. Here you would introduce the logic that I just uh, spoke about earlier. And then we send the rest to the seller. We end the event and then we return true. The same goes with the, the process item part. It happens just the same. Uh, just that if you need to, to implement Quark payment, instead of uh, using the send Ethereum function, you just call the transfer function on the token and do your logic. There's, uh, it's actually pretty simple to use. We made it so that uh, you don't have to spend much time and effort while building these errors. We want to remind you that in case you have a uh, custom logic on your contract, then uh, we can, but don't either have the developers or the knowledge or the resources to, to make it yourself. Quark comes in, in help for this and offers a sort of development service or package where we can build these apps for you. So basically there's just one, one important thing. In order the transaction to not fail, the marketplace makes sure that no LV or Quark remains in the contract after the sale is made. For example, if your item costs uh, 100 LV, uh, if you only uh, send, for example, the, mar the marketplace sends the 100 LV into the Adams contract, and from this point, the Adams contract must consume all of the amount. For example, it uh, should send 90% to the seller and burn 10%, which equals obviously to 100 LV. But if the contract would uh, consume only 90%, for example 19 LV, the function will fail because the Adams contract is uh, obligated to consume all the amount left in it. This applies for both LV and Quark. That's pretty much it. Uh, that was a brief demonstration about how the new feature uh, of the marketplace add-ons works for the part marketplace. So we invite you to, to share your feedback and to come up with new and interesting ways of uh, dealing with uh, the amount from resales in creative and amazing ways. Thank you for your attention and bye-bye. Yeah, so I'm not sure how the sound was on Twitch, but we will upload this also to our uh, Quark YouTube uh, page, so people can can actually read what's on the video and also rewatch it.
And um, yeah, like we uh, like we also want to to provide the service for for helping people with setting this up. We are also kind of doing similar with the artists that we have artists that want to get into NFTs. They don't know how to do it, and 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 we want to also create like that, like a kind of feature also where we where we support artists and, and help them get in, involved into the NFTs. So that's all for me, and please join our Telegram and uh, ask questions. I don't know if anyone has questions here. I think yeah, there was someone saying they had some questions. I think we have more mics we can use. Does this work? Does it work? Hey, uh, Eric here from DeFi Dojo. So it's in regards of the artists and um, your onboarding um, what kind of like a real world art? Uh, you mentioned that you need a special photographer in, in order to capture uh, the kind of like the quality of the art uh, before uploading it. So does that mean that for time being you will work only with local artists, and, or maybe what kind of like the, your photographer is, or how that part you know kind of like will work if someone wants to use your marketplace uh, on board, uh, get their art there, but they are in another country, for example. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, so, I mean, it's not like people have to do it, but we prefer to do it as far as we can. Uh, taking the pictures with a good camera can do a lot, but when you have a professional uh, photographer with all the equipment, you can get the right uh, color and the right white uh, in, in, in the pictures. And, and you, get, you can get the... Um, the resolution on the files that we need for future printing and such. So it depends on the artist what they want to do with the NFTs, and, and, and uh, yeah, that's where they go. It limits by the files uh, quality, of course. But I mean, anyone can use any kind. You can take a picture on your phone. The phone pictures these days are actually quite uh, impressive and actually better than a lot of the, the professional equipment. So. I mean, uh, just to clarify, of course, with a proper camera, you can do raw photographers and such. But, but the, the um, yeah, mobiles are getting quite impressive. So it's not necessary to have that uh, photographer. It's no, it's not. It's not necessary. It's just we have the access, so we we, we use it. I do have a question, though. Uh, when when Binance, sir? <laughs> <laughs> no, I so, saw uh, when Binance. Yeah, well, uh, let's see. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask when Moon. And, uh, oh, when Moon, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, one of our artists, he really likes to paint the Moon, so uh, maybe oh. we can make something out of that. Really amazing. I mean, thank you so much, uh, uh, Jimango. Yeah, and thank you very much also. Thank you so much. So, guys, uh, go and follow this amazing uh, gentleman with his, uh, with his theme. And uh, by the way, because we are uh, on the schedule, um, we have to take a small break for, um, I mean, we are hungry, yeah? And um, we're coming back because there's a lot of things to be discovered here. Um, uh, directly from Alvi Chain, we do have a new product from um, uh, artificial intelligence and augmented reality that I would like to uh, present it to you. And again, a round of applause for Jumango. Let's eat, everybody. 